Hey, this is Darren. Welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're here over here at B Vogue with Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Darren. Hey, Thad. Hey, what's up? Hey, thanks for taking the interview with us. Can you tell the, the viewers and the listeners uh, a little bit about B Vogue? You know, uh, you should all come to B Vogue. Um, actually, B Vogue, we opened for business in 1991, and um, I think recently our biggest discovery about B Vogue is we love to serve you. So um, service is what's um, most keen to us. You can get a haircut anywhere, but if you want a little bit more and if you want somewhere uh, that you're appreciated and all of that's shown, uh, I think we're, we're that choice. So try us out sometime. Well, you can really feel the vibe when you come into the store um, or your place. It's it's uh, it's a, a very original, um, and um, the and you also have art art uh, that you sell, and you helped out the local artists and things like that as well. We do. Um, number one, we're brand inspired. Our brand is Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell believes in leaving the world a better place. And in doing that, it was something that just really felt good to us. They inspired us to partner in the city, uh, care globally and live locally. So we partnered with a little local grade school, Santa Fe Trail Elementary. And a lot of arts have been cut out of the school programs. And we are an arts district. So with that in mind, um, we helped the arts department. We've helped them get a kiln. We actually, and we also helped their music department get risers. And the money that we make off of, the sale of art out of Bevogue from our local artist, 100% of that we pay forward to um, both the, the grade school that we partner with and our community because there's always help needed in the community. Absolutely. Now, Thad, you've been uh, with Tammy for how long now? Oh, um, it, 10 years this year. It's been 10 years, and it's just been a wonderful journey here, um, just growing in this community and just being a part of something that really is all about uh, giving back to the community. The Art Walks, um, B Vogue, and all the other businesses here really want to make the, a difference in this and just really seeing everybody kind of attack this community to not let it die. Yeah. It's been a really special part of being here. It really is. It's, and um, so now, uh, Tammy, the Art Walk, uh, can you tell uh, the listener and the viewers a little bit about the dates and things for the Art Walk? The Art Walk is a set date. It's the third weekend of every month. It's the third Friday Art Walk of every month. We go year-round. The Art Walk starts at 5.30 and it goes through 9 p.m. There's food and eats and drinks throughout the community. We probably have eight to ten galleries and, and we're looking for more galleries to come and just people that, that, want, that need a space um, in a great community. And, the, and Inglewood definitely is a great community. You really feel like you're walking down yesteryear when you come down here. I really like the improvements that the city did uh, for the sidewalks, and that makes it a lot easier for parking, too. Absolutely. I mean, we're so excited. We're, we're about to go in, you know, long live all the mayors, but we're about to go in um, to a new mayorship within the city of Independence. And, and she's been a big part of the progress in Inglewood. And the little businesses that are strong here have been here for as long as I've been here. And everybody plays their part. And we're, we're excited to be partners with the city of Independence and the Chamber of Independence and Everything that's going on, I mean, independence, it, it's a new independence. It's really happening. So, again, there's so much to do here. That's a secret, I believe. It's not a secret anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's out. The news is out. <laughs> the uh, and now your uh, your building here, I really love it too. It's a really cool uh, cool space, and 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 we were talking a little bit. About how old is this uh, building? You know, it's it's like a, a hundred years old. I believe we were either built in uh, what we just discovered that was eighteen four. What was it? Nineteen fourteen or something. 14, 15, right in there. You, you know, we moved here in two thousand, and and I just told you. I drove by this place and the grass was almost to my waist and the for sale sign was knocked over and I thought, hey, I can will and deal with that. But what I found is we got a community with this property and, and it's been fun being a part of the community. It's a lot of hard work. So yes, I'd like neighbors and like to, to come out full force, but um, it's so rewarding to be part of this community and the people and, and people come from all over. I mean. We've got guests from Uric, Missouri was in here this morning. She drives an hour here and an hour home wow. um, to see us. And, you know, we encourage her to dine here and to stop at the antique stores. And, you know, we just want more places that our guests can go. That's really what's important to us is our guests. 
One of your favorite places down here in Inglewood uh, to eat, what, w what would be one of your favorite places to eat down here? I know it's, there's quite a few. There is quite a few, um, and I just can't stop with one. I mean, you give one, I'll give the other. Okay, uh, you know, my favorite place that you see me check in probably the most is I love Vivalor. I love the um, brother sister team at Vivalor, and and they're out here helping us on a daily basis. They're bringing um, a new demographic to Inglewood, and that is is so exciting. And and it does it's a high recommended. And place that we have uh, our guests go to so it's fun having them as a neighbor very upscale and nice <laughs> it is very upscale and nice and and uh, and it's it's expensive but I love it I love it's my place I'm you can find me there probably definitely every Friday evening except for art walk then I'm here so. <laughs> how about you then my favorite place is gonna be um, the the backroom gallery in Cody's cafe it's a uh, uh, mother daughter's team mother daughters team um, that uh, they just it's a just a nice place to get something a little creative and a little healthy um, it's just a great little perfect little lunches and I probably eat their way too much too <laughs> well, I had to give them a two thumbs up too I actually ate there last week and I had their grilled cheese and a sandwich and their tomato soup and the hospitality was just crazy it was yeah. just it's really good there there's a good vibe there yeah. yes. they they love to serve too so I mean we we love that and there are, they always have amazing art mm -hmm. in the gallery. So, you know, Kansas City, we've got First Fridays. Inglewood has Third Fridays. And I truly invite you out that evening from 530 to 9 again to, to just to experience see, Inglewood. experience Inglewood, where the art lives. Absolutely. Yes. Inglewood. <laughs> and, and we're just like four miles to the west of the Independence Square, which is another amazing venue. And I love to shop there too. <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere else. <laughs> exactly. I, I grew up in Independence. I'm definitely. I have. Uh, hopefully next month we'll have this our station wagon out. But on the back of our station wagon we have a sticker that says an Independence thing you wouldn't understand. So we're trying to help people get understand. <laughs> <That's cool>. Yes. <laughs> well, we have a uh, a tagline on our radio show and our road show, and I'm not sure you're familiar with it, but it goes like this: it's kind of a Jed Clampett. Woo doggies! <laughs> Can you all give me a woo doggy? <laughs> awesome. Now, exactly where are you located out here in Inglewood? You know, our uh, address is 11100 East Winter Road, Independence, Missouri, 64052, bvogue.com. Very good. Well, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. Come down, check out B Vogue. Come out, check out Inglewood on, on, on the third Fridays, but also come down anytime. They're, they're, they're opening around anytime, and you'll be glad you did. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll be right back. <laughs> SSD Television. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here at the River Market Antiques with Jessica. How are you doing, Jessica? Great today. Thanks for asking. Thanks for coming on the, uh, the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We haven't talked to you in a few months, so now it's springtime and going into summer. It is almost summer. Yes, we've got some great events coming up. Uh, starting in June, we will open uh, at 9 a.m., starting our summer hours on Saturday. So 10 to 6, Monday through Friday. And then on Saturdays, we open up at 9 and Sunday 10. It, oh, sorry, trying to get the early city market shoppers. Oh, yeah. Well, city market is so, such a thriving thing going down here. Um, how long has the city market been going on? As long as I've known. I've been down here for six, seven years, and I know it's been going for years before that. It's amazing. Now, you have some new things that are, are going on downstairs in the River Market Antiques. Can you tell uh, the listeners and the viewers a little bit about that? I can. We just installed two new dressing rooms. So we have dressing rooms down in our lower level. We have a bunch of new vintage and used clothing uh, dealers and lots of accessories, hats, shoes, jewelry, costume jewelry, showcases down here. Uh, it's filling up fast. We've got little over half of the basement full now of vintage clothing so and we're looking to expand and uh, keep going with more so it's a good place to shop for girls and guys both I'll tell you what it um, the, the quality and the condition these clothes are in are it's like a mint condition thank you yeah our dealers hunt and look and find some great things here 
It is amazing. I love coming down here. If you come down, if you have to, had a chance, plan on spending at least half the day. Because uh, how many floors do you have now? Is it four now? Yeah, we have the lower level and then one through three. A lot of space, a lot of space. Well, uh, and, and, and your, your artists, and they actually, not only do they go out and collect, but they actually will, will work on, on, on the weekends and, and during the day as well. Is that right? They do. They are 24-7, really. They're going. Uh, they pick up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, everything. They're always bringing in new stuff every single day. And what uh, you have a Father's Day event coming up, a big event? Yes, we do. Thanks for asking. Uh, Father's Day, we're doing our annual Father's Day sale. Uh, so we'll have a lot of sales and all the, a lot of the booths, I should say. Um, a lot of the dealers pick that day to do different sales and fun things in their booth. And then outside, we'll be grilling out hot dogs and chips and soda and water. We'll be serving for all the dads and, and everybody else to celebrate Father's Day. Yeah, it's uh, not as big as Mother's Day, but it sounds like it's going to be down here, huh? Yeah, it will be. Uh, I'll be grilling out hot dogs. We'll probably start the grill around 10, 30, 11, and then hot dogs will be ready after that. You guys do a lot uh, for the community down here and keep the river market has just exploded this last, I'd say, last five years. It, it really has. And um, there's new uh, part, new lofts and apartments coming in um, right around Delaware and 2nd Street, I believe, here. They're going to start working on that next year, I believe. So you a lot more dwellers. <laughs> Well, we appreciate you coming on the Junk in My Trunk Roadshow. Uh, always, it's a, it's my favorite place to go in Kansas City to junk and antique. It is it is an amazing you. place. Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> well, we have a tagline on our radio show and our road show, and I'm sure you know what that is, Jessica. I do. Woo, doggy. Oh, you got it. No, you, <laughs> you knocked it out. Real quick before we go, uh, Facebook and in your website. Yes, um, rivermarketantiques.com, uh, and then we've got our Facebook, just backslash antique, River Market Antique Mall. River Market Antique, that's yeah. growing all the time. Yes, yes. We're almost at 4,000 likes, actually. We're getting close to 4,000. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing a lot on Facebook uh, lately, and we uh, also do Twitter. Uh, more so Facebook, probably. We try to post pictures on a daily basis. Very good. Well, we appreciate you coming on. Thank you for having us. Awesome. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Roadshow, and we'll be right back. Hey, this is Darren with the Junk in My Trunk Roadshow. If you're looking for a cool place to go, antiquing, junking around in Kansas City, the River Market Antique Mall is a good place to go. Over 30,000 square feet, four floors. They're located at 115 West 5th Street in Kansas City, Missouri. You can reach them on the phone at 816-221-0220. But better yet, head on down, make it a day trip. The River Market Antiques Mall is uh, centrally located right in the River Market area. You have the Farmer's Market that's going on. Uh, you also have some really good places to go eat. One of my favorite places to go eat is Casconi's. They have some home cooking food. Again, the River Market Antiques is located at 115 West 5th Street in Kansas City, Missouri. You can find them on Facebook at River Market Antique Mall. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over at the Backroom Gallery in Cody's Cafe with Jennifer and Kristen. How you doing? Good, thank you. Hey, thanks for coming on the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, Inglewood is a great place to take a road trip and a day trip. Can you tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about your place? Sure. We're, uh, we're an art gallery and a coffee shop cafe. We're open between 11.30 and 5 daily, um, Tuesday through Saturday. And then on Friday and Saturday nights, we're here later. We do uh, a lot of live music every other weekend. And on those evenings, we're here for dinner and uh, the music shows. And so we're open till 10 on those nights. Um, we... Oh, we also do jam nights um, the first Wednesday of every month. Yeah, we oh, have cool. open jams here. Uh, and we do a uh, daily special. A lot of, everything's homemade. Soup, sandwiches, salads, things like that. And it's a mom and pop shop. I'm yeah. the mom. Well, mom and daughter shop. So, yeah. Uh, it's it, me and my daughters. Uh, who are the daughters are the artists. I'm the cook. So. Well, it's pretty incredible. Um, the, 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 the decorations in here, um, you get a feeling uh, of, uh, I don't it's kind of a peaceful feeling in here when you come in here. It really is. Uh, I really like the, the vibe you have. It, it kind of reminds me of um, something like um, in, in, something in my past or in, in your history, you know? 
Yeah, left definitely with her uh, apron, Kristen's apron. <laughs> That's, I think the best compliment we've gotten so far, which we've had a couple people say, is I feel like I'm walking into someone's home. Yeah when they come in and that's people comfortable yeah. here yeah absolutely you, you do feel comfortable now um kristen um tell me a little bit about the art you do um i do mostly sculpture like to paint too um but i guess the only way for me to put it is i put heads on everything <laughs> it's, if, if there's one of my sculptures it's it's mostly generally going to have a head on it <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's what i do <laughs> well that's nice because there's some art that has no arms or, or arms or head Yep. That one has no arms, but it's got head, so. <laughs> hey, I like it. <laughs> and, and you have all kinds of paintings, and, and you have some people that do some jewelry? Yes. Uh, Rachel Lundy does uh, fused glass um, pendants that we have back there. She's also a photographer. but um, And then we have a couple other jewelers that are probably going to be coming in as well that are all handmade. That is incredible. I really like your food. I had just had an opportunity to, uh, to try your daily special, one of your specials, but probably many specials, uh, grilled cheese, and it was very tasty. I really liked it. What, what was in that? It was, a, it was a homemade pimento grilled cheese sandwich. It had the pimento, obviously, but the uh, also put applewood bacon in it, and so it's pretty mm. pretty yummy. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah, it was really yummy, and your um, uh, tomato soup is great. Um, your service is outstanding. Now, tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about the art walks that go on uh, on the third is third third, third Friday. Yes. Okay. Uh, Every third Friday of the month, year round. We, I think we're the, one of the only art districts that actually does it year round. Um, we we open up at five thirty, I believe, and all the all the businesses in Inglewood are also art galleries, and so we open our doors, and er, you know people come and go into all the businesses to see the art. And uh, it's real fun. We have live music. People serve up food. I know that Cork and uh, Barrel does a lot of wine tastings in the area. So especially now that it's getting nice outside with spring, the spring weather, it's, it's a real fun place to come down and just kind of hang out and walk around and see the sights, take in the music and the food. So. Yeah, and just right in the, our backyard, right in for Independence, is not very far away anywhere in the metro to come over and check out. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you also um, is, what made you get started in the restaurant business? <laughs> well, it's a it's a it's a, a long story, but uh, my daughters and I we've always talked about opening a shop. I've been in management in electronics, believe it or not, so I'm a techno nerd. So I told the girls that. Uh, since they're artists, if we ever open a shop, have a gallery, I'll just make soup because I love to cook. And um, so that's, you know, I just had been laid off uh, from a, a tech job. And um, we came down here for lunch one day. Of course, we grew up in this area. All of us did. And uh, I told Kristen, I said, let's go look down in that little shop down there. And uh, and we did. And uh, the rest is history. It, we knew that day we were going to open. And... Um, and we love it. We love being here. We love being in the area. Love putting love in my soup and loving my girls and and the, and the art, of course, is wonderful. So, we well, definitely can. Happen. You definitely can feel it for sure. Well, and you guys have a Facebook page. We do. It's uh, the Backroom Gallery and Cody's Cafe. If you like us, you'll get updates on. Uh, our live musical events, uh, the art walks, the special of the day, any you know everything that we do here is on on our Facebook page right now. Very good. Well, um, we have a tagline on our radio show, on our road show, and I think you might have heard it before. It goes kind of like this: Woo doggies! Can you give me woo doggies? You betcha. Woo doggies! <laughs> that always makes people smile. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming on the road show. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're excited about starting our third season with Barn Gypsies out on the Ford Family Farm just east of Hamilton, Missouri, right off Highway 36. We have a venue of antiques, uh, repurposed, vintage, retro, you name it, in the barn. From Therese and I and my um, 40 years of experience in the antique business, and then outside we have what we call a flea teak. We have a wide variety of vendors, everything from vintage items, architectural pieces. Uh, we have repurposed furniture. We have food vendors. We have Missouri artisans selling homemade jewelry. A lot of different um, 
things that you can come and see and do. We are, are pet friendly and children friendly. We love you to have the whole family come out and visit us every month. We've got new items. In April, we'll be featuring, of course, the garden season. We're going to have a lot of, of garden decor. We have a new line of gazing globes made in the United States that are absolutely gorgeous. Um, lots of fun things for your garden, whether new or old, and we've even got some people bringing plants from their homes. We're going to have a full line of succulents, a little bit of something for everybody. We're located just east of Hamilton, one mile east of Hamilton on Highway 36. We have signs posted. You can find out all about us by going to our Facebook page, which is simply Barn Gypsies. You can find us just by Googling Barn Gypsies. Our phone number is listed there, but it is 660-973-4451, or you can email us at barngypsies at gmail.com. We're easy to get a hold of, and we're always happy to answer your questions. One question we get a lot is uh, vendor fee. We're just $30 for the three days. We're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the last weekend of every month. The first show will be April 25th through 27th. We open at 9 o'clock, and say we close at 4, but sometimes we're still here at 6.30 in the evening. As long as people want to come, we keep the doors open. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here in Independence with Kana. How are you doing, Kana? Terrific. Tell the listeners uh, uh, the name of your business and where you're located out here in Independence, or over in Inglewood. The Standard Antiques, and we're located at 10910 East Winter Road in Independence. It's an amazing store. Um, I, I really love it. It comes. You got you got all kinds of different things here. You have art. You have primitives. You have antiques. You have collectibles. Don't see a lot of junk. <laughs> That was some cool stuff. Well, one man's junk is another man's treasure, so. Exactly. So tell, uh, if someone was coming to your store, what what one would one might find? Well, I have an eclectic mix of art, prints, original artwork. Um, I have some furniture from the 1800s as well as I love vintage and all different kinds of things. I call it whimsy. Whimsy. Whimsy, yeah. So when you say whimsy, what I think, I think uh, you're going to have some stuff in the natural and you might have a few painted items sometime. Yes, exactly. It just depends on the piece. The piece, yeah. I try and have a good eclectic mix of natural wood. I also like finding pieces that maybe have been cast to the side and I call them little orphans. So I have lamps that I've rewired and I like lighting and crystal and art pieces um i'm starting to get into vintage clothing so i have a little bit of vintage clothing and i love children's vintage clothing wow i never really thought about children's vintage clothing clothing and i definitely have heard of the vintage clothing all the people i know do really well with it yeah i like finding children's vintage clothing but it's even a harder find for me than adult clothing wow uh, and it's definitely as a recycle, reuse, repurpose. Um, I think most of the things I have on are given to me or I got thrift store. That's the fun in the hunt. Now, so do you and your husband get a chance to go out picking together? We do. He's really good. He has a great eye for finding different things that I normally would find. So we're a good mixture. In Inglewood, um, tell uh, the listeners and the viewers a little bit about what happens in Inglewood once a month. Well, we're having a really fun time in Inglewood. Every third Friday night, we have an art walk where there's artists and music and food and people strolling out um, the block. A lot of people from Inglewood, they remember when the theater was open and they would come to Ben Franklin. So it's a lot of fun. It's designated as our art district for independence. And so there's a lot of artists and a lot of people that are here. Um, we always have new um, things for the month. So new art pieces, new furniture, 
that kind of thing. Very good. It's a, it's a lot of fun, a lot of history here in Inglewood. Uh, so where exactly are you located over here in Inglewood? Well, we're directly across from the movie theater, the old Inglewood movie theater. And it's supposed to open in 2014. So we're keeping our fingers crossed on that one. That should be a lot of fun to have it back open. We have a lot of uh, great eating as well. We have a um, couple of cafes and a, a great restaurant, um, little mom and pop uh, cafe as well, home sweet home. And uh, we also have a great uh, cork and barrel. If you like wine, European wine, Dawn has a great um, palate. She has one of the best palates for wine. <laughs> Very good. Well, uh, uh, can you follow you on Facebook? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you can follow us on uh, Facebook, The Standard Antiques on Facebook. Uh, we're also on Etsy, and we're also on Pinterest. Yeah, those are the Etsy and Pinterest are pretty hot, hot websites, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to, um, you can always give me a call. Okay, awesome. What's that number? 816-305-9942. Good. Now we have a tagline on our radio show and our road show. It's like this. Woo doggies. Can you give me woo doggies? Woo doggies. That's my favorite. We're pet friendly here in Inglewood. Very good. Hey guys, thanks for uh, tuning in to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. And we'll be right back. The Surplus Exchange, Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. A must-go-see. By the way, this is Mr. Ed from the Junk of, Junk of My Drunk Road Show. The Surplus Exchange is located at 518 Santa Fe. They're open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 to 5. They have computers, office equipment, furniture, and much, much more. Get down, check them out. They're open 9 to 5, 518 Santa Fe. Go there. Hey, this is Darren with the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. If you're looking for flooring, look no further. Action Flooring in Odessa, Missouri is now open and open to the public. They have the best value on residential carpet, best value on commercial carpet. They have Forzays, they have Shag, Luxury Heavy, and Plush. They also carry remnant, short rolls, luxury vinyl, laminate, you name it. 816-633-4120. That's one Action Road in Odessa, Missouri. You can also reach them online at actionflooringinc.com. Again, their telephone number is 816-633-4120. Action Flooring, Odessa, Missouri. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> 